Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner Z8. My name is Adam. So guys, today is Friday, Freaky Friday. And in today's video, I have good news and also bad news concerning Daniel and Black Star players. With the good news, Daniel Amate scored a goal in his first debut game for Bexitas. We are going to look at the goal and also talk about him. Also, Molly Mensa, the young teenager I told you signed for Robert is, has scored a goal in his own official debut game for them against Almeria. We are also going to look at the video. And also the bad news concerns injuries to Kamaldi Suleimana and also Jojo Walakot. This and many more stories on Ghanaian and Black Star players live here on Sports Corner GH. So guys, if you have not subscribed yet or today is your first time watching me, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed too, thank you very much and I really, really appreciate it. So guys, Quickly, let's move into it and start with Daniel Amate. Let's start with the good news. Now, Daniel Amate is with Bexitas. We already know now Bexitas are playing in the Conference League qualifiers and they played against FK Tirana. They won the game by two goals to zero. And Daniel Amate didn't actually start the game. He didn't start the game. He came in as a substitute. When he arrived on the pitch, it only took him 10 minutes. 10 minutes to make his mark and he scored this beautiful header goal for Bexitas in the 57th minute. See, if you go to Turkey right now, you go to Bexitas front and you ask them who is your most valuable player from yesterday to today, they'll tell you Daniel Amati. He is the most loved player in Turkey currently. Turkey, Bexitas, their fans are singing songs for Daniel Amati. They have composed a new song for Daniel Amati, and it's all over. The song is Daniel Amati, Amati, Mama, Hey Mama, Hey Mama, Hey Mama. Simple song. Bexita fans are singing this song for Daniel Amati for scoring that beautiful header for them in the you know, Europa Conference League qualifiers. So guys, we'll follow up on this because it's very important that you score your first goal in your first debut game. Charlie, you're all over the moon. Players will trust you. Coaches will trust you. They will give you more playing time. And I'm happy for Daniel Amate. This is a way to start. You see, in this life, you only have one chance to make an impression. And Daniel Amate took this impression very seriously. And he made it very well on fans, on coaches, and also on the players. So guys, we'll make sure to follow up on subsequent games of Daniel Amate for Bexitas. Now moving away from Daniel Amate, let's talk about Mauli Mensa. Now Mauli Mensa, I told you some few days ago, signed for Robert East. Immediately, the coaches were eager to see what the defensive midfielder was going to bring on board, or whether to send him on loan, or they should keep him around whilst the league starts next week. Now, in that one official game, he made his debut for Robert East in a game against Almeria. That game ended 3-3. That game ended 3-3. And he was able to score a goal. See, his goal is mind-blowing. To see a defensive midfielder score this goal is mind-blowing because that game was justified your inclusion for Mauli Mensa, whether to send him on loan or to keep him with this first team. And you see, if 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 you have the chance to make an impression, don't don't miss that, that chance. This is what the boy did. He didn't miss the chance. Defensive midfielder, pound. look at the kind of goal he's scoring. You could see the boy has confidence to play ball. Ghana Football Association, if you are watching this or you have watched the goal somewhere else, please, let's start talking to this boy. We shouldn't waste time. Because when we were working on um, the black matches, these boys, they were not called. They were not called. Please, let's start working on Mauli Mensa and go. Mauli Mensa, a proper vote on him. Please, let's start working on him because this boy, he's the future of our midfield. Now, moving away from Mauli Mensa, let's talk about some bad news. Let's talk about some bad news. I came across this tweet from Joe Botte on Twitter, and he says the coach of Southampton has given an update on Kamaldi Suleiman's health situation. He is injured, and he is going to miss Southampton's first game against Sheffield United. That is only if Kamaldi Suleiman ends up staying at Southampton. And this is very worrying to me because Charlie, the season is going to start like next week, and then Kamaldi Suleiman is already injured. Now, we are yet to receive a medical report as to the extent of the injury, how long he's going to be out, and maybe then the number of games he's going to miss. But then, as he's injured, please don't really, you know, look forward to come out in Suleiman not leaving the club anytime soon. Unless his injury is a minor one. But if it's a major injury, he would stay with Saddamton. So, guys, we'll make sure to follow up on Kamal Adin Suleiman's, you know, injury situation and bring you every information you need to know. Now, moving away from Kamal Adin Suleiman, let's talk about another player, the black star player who is injured. 
in the person of Jojo Walakot. Now, let's not forget, Jojo Walakot left Charlton Athletic to Scottish side Herbermin. He went there and he was the second choice goalkeeper. Now, Herbenian were playing a game against Club Escalates. And then the first choice goalkeeper wasn't around because he had some injury. So Jojo Walakot was supposed to start that game. He started the game, he was doing well. Then all of a sudden, 12 minutes into the game, Jojo Walakot got injured. Now he got injured, he was being replaced by David Marshall after 12 minutes into the game. And this is what I'm going to see. In the Black Stars, the weakest position is the goalkeeping department. And looking at Jojo Walakot, our second choice goalkeeper, injured at this point, Charlie, like he's becoming too much. Because Jojo Walakot, if you do him like this, he'll be injured. Last time, it was something on his head. Last time, his finger. I mean, I know football has its own hazards. But Charlie is becoming too much. The injury record is becoming too much. If the GFA and Chris Newton are listening to this, we should start looking for alternatives, replacements for Dodo Wallacos because see, we can't rely on a on a goalkeeper when there's when he's getting close to a tournament, he will get injured. So, guys, this is the latest concerning Dodo Wallacos. I know some of you will say I'm not being fair to the player, but then that is the truth. That is the truth. Now moving away, let's talk about some extra news concerning Ghanaian players. Mohamed Salisu, we know, completed his move to Monaco. He has joined the team for first training and everybody is happy. You're also waiting for him to, you know, score, you know, his first goal in his first match. Then we'll now compare that with Daniel Amate's goal and see whose goal is nicer. You understand? Our, our defenders need to be on top. And I like what Daniel Amate has done. He has set the standard for the rest of the defenders who have moved to new clubs. Who scored my first game? Shall go. You are setting standard. So, one by Salisu, it's over to you. It's over to you. Daniel Amate has set the standard. And I'm happy Salisu is training with the first team. And he's doing everything possible to make sure that he plays his first game for Monaco. Now, let's talk about Ibrahim Sedik. As for Ibrahim Sedik, I've done like four videos about Ibrahim Sedik. He plays for Hacking. Yes, he plays for Swedish side Hacking. Now, Hacking are also playing the Europa Conference League qualifiers. And unfortunately, they were not able to, you know, qualify to, you know, the next round because they were, you know, eliminated out by Class Vic. Yes, Class Vic. Now, the game ended 3-3 and they had to go, you know, extra time and play penalties. And Class Vic won on penalties 4-3. But in the game, Ibrahim Sadiq once more scored a goal. But that goal wasn't enough to, you know, promote Hakim to the next stage of the Europa Conference League qualifiers. So, guys, they are out. I'm very sad for Ibrahim Sedi. But then, what you can take out of this game is that this guy is a proper goal scorer. He has been scoring goals consistently for Hakim, and I'm happy. Though most people don't shine a lot of light on him, but he's one player I believe we need to start looking at at alternative or solving our goal scoring problems in the Black Stars. So, guys, that is all I have for you in today's video. Let me know your thoughts on Daniel Amate's goal and also Mauli Mensah's goal. Also, let me know your thoughts on the injuries on Kamal Di Suleimana and also um, Jojo Walakot and also your thoughts on Ibrahim Serik. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. Don't forget to like, subscribe and also turn on notifications. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Tell it, we go vibe.